Let's get reaction now from Virginia Congressman and House Armed Services Committee member Rob Whitman. Uh, Congressman, that is the problem. I mean, why, how, how can you negotiate yes. with people that have no intention of telling you the truth? David, that's exactly right. Uh, trust and integrity is critical to any sort of serious negotiation. Obviously, it doesn't exist there in Russia. Uh, there's a big issue that we have going forward to make sure that we are defending Ukraine, pushing back against this Russian uh, aggression and making sure that we don't have an invasion that occurs. Unfortunately, I think we're on track for an invasion. Yeah, well, the, the problem is, is the reason the reason we're focusing now on on useless negotiations is because of the fact that we gave up the bargaining chip that we had before, right, right at the beginning of the Biden administration, which was stopping that gas line project uh, in Europe. We, we gave we ended the sanctions against the gas line project that gave them a green light. Uh, and, and we've been going uh, since then. I mean, that, how do you recover from a strategic mistake like that? David, it's difficult to do. That pipeline enables Russia. It gives them the economic resources to do the things that they're doing in Ukraine. Uh, just recently, you saw the United States Senate vote down sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Again, a great opportunity for us to send a strong signal to have an economic impact on Russia. Unfortunately, a missed opportunity, and it weakens the United States position and emboldens Russia and gives them the economic resources they need to continue this aggressive behavior. And then we had President Biden this week essentially giving them a, a green light to something called a, quote, minor incursion. Uh, that was the mm -hmm. president's word to say what might be acceptable on the part on the part of Russia. I mean, it's just you, you do, first of all, there, you can debate whether or not that would be acceptable in any circumstance. But but to say it out loud, I mean, this is this is uh, this is horrible negotiating tactics. David, it's absolutely stunning. When I heard those words and and understood that President Biden was saying, hey, a minor incursion, uh, we'll talk about it, was a signal to Russia to say, hey, that's OK. And believe me, Russia will take advantage of that in whatever conversations they're having right now. And by the way, we're at a point where actions speak louder than words. That's right. All this administration has done is talk about things. Russia sees no action to dissuade them from doing the things that I think that they're planning on doing. There are things we could do with our NATO allies, put our NATO troops up on the eastern Polish border to make sure that Ukraine has access to intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance assets the United States has. There are a lot of things that we could do to proactively send the message to Russia not to do this. And if they do, there'd be immediate uh, impact of this, not just say, by the way, if you do this, uh, it'll be really bad. Yeah. Well, Russia looks at it and goes, well, we don't know what's really bad. And then Putin's willing to put his people through pain and suffering to achieve this takeover of Ukraine. Well, the, the bottom line is, by the way, Jen Psaki did try to clean up what the president said, but nothing that she can do to try to clean it up is going to is going to erase it from the mind of Vladimir Putin. He knows what the president said. He knows it's in there. He knows that he has a free hand. Uh, we we, we got to jump. But a lot of people are worried that we get back into a Cold War situation with Russia that, that lasted 50, 60 years. We don't want that again. Uh, is is that something that is a real possibility here? Well, some of that's real. The thing is, is Russia understands one thing and one thing only, and that is assertive power by the United States. And listen, the only way to make diplomacy work is to make sure you have a backdrop of strong national security. That's what got us past Russia in what we saw during the Cold War. That that's what that's what got Russia to back off and what really put Russia in a position uh, of a weakened position, not being able to move forward. It was U.S. strength. Yeah. We are we are moving from a position of weakness now that only emboldens Russia and in the long right. term doesn't help security in Europe. Peace through strength. It's that simple. Uh, Absolutely. Congressman, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, Democrats.